Tonight, we're closely tracking Matthew, the massive hurricane on the verge of strengthening as it bears down on the Bahamas, on its way to a possible punishing landfall in Florida. Right now, computer models show the hurricane walking a narrow tightrope as it reaches the coast. Now, the storm has already claimed 25 lives on its march through the Caribbean. Along the U.S. coastline, two million people have been evacuated from three different states. And Centerpoint is going to be helping out in this storm. Early tomorrow morning, 200 local linemen will head to Florida. We have team hurricane coverage for you tonight, beginning with Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard, the first local reporter to arrive in Florida. Ryan? And you can see our lens a bit foggy tonight. We apologize for that. We just arrived here. It is humid. It's also windy and supplies at stores running low. Tonight, the ominous sign of what's to come out at sea. This is a little scary. While on land, this is the scramble to beat the storm on freeways, ferries, and flights. Entire communities heeding the call to leave. Certainly isn't so much the storm as it is going to be the after effects of the storm. Or is there going to be power? Um, is there going to be a house? <laughs> 12 million people could feel the wrath of Hurricane Matthew. If Matthew directly impacts Florida, there will be massive destruction that we haven't seen in years. With Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas in a state of emergency, swift water rescue teams are at the ready. The National Guard activated to keep order, but there's been a run on supplies and patients. Lines are long, some groceries are gone, fuel running out. <sighs> This region is bracing and racing to escape. The westbound traffic is bumper to bumper. Matthew is closing in and time is running out. And certainly as we stop by a couple of stores, uh, you can find water as expensive. A small bottle of water, about $1.50. Tough to find bread and you can imagine fuel hard to find as well. We're live on Miami Beach tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Channel 2 News.